G'day, it's Mark here at Combi Life and we're with the short wheelbase T6 4 motion Rockton from Volkswagen. It's a crew van, but it's had uh, a significant upgrade from cycle. Let's have a look underneath while we've got it on the hoist, exactly what's happened. So first of all, we've got the suspension changes. There are two key elements to the suspension change. We've got the shock absorbers from cycle and we have the new springs. You can just see up here, so I clear that off. You can see this is a cycle spring. So this spring, and shock kit gives us a raised suspension of approximately 30 millimeters. We can see it here as well. The cycle uh, suspension here. So springs and shocks at the back and also at the front that will give us around about that 30 millimeter lift. Also applied to this vehicle, it might be a little bit difficult to see here, almost impossible to see, but up in here underneath this or above this diff plate is the diff drop kit. There are three plates of different sizes, like between seven and uh, 15 millimeters that uh, lower the rear diff a little bit to reduce the stress, to reduce the stress on the drive shafts here and the angles on the CVs here at the back. So if that was not dropped just a little bit, we would have a greater stress on these and potentially further shorten the drive shaft life. We also have five protection plates on this vehicle. The first one that we're looking at here is the rear diff protector. This is a bolt-on plate. In the kit will come the spacer kit, so it drops this, creates the new mount brackets here for the plate. So that's here, and then we have the large diff protector. If we have a look under here, we haven't washed this vehicle for deliberate reasons. You can see all this scraping under here from some of the terrain that we've been on on the recent four-wheel drive training weekend. On this side, we have this enormous uh, plate. This is the fuel tank guard and the AdBlue tank guard. It also acts as a rock slider. So if we look on this side, here, this is a rock slider. It's also visible from the outside of the vehicle. This rock slider provides sill protection if we hit any rocks on here. We can have a rock slider on both sides of the vehicle. However, if we have the fuel tank guard, there's no additional rock slider, it acts like a rock slider. You can see here on the outside, it provides the lowest point and provides some sill protection. This plate is significant in size, uh, made of, everything's made here of five millimeter aluminium. So it's light, but it's very, very strong. We come a little bit further forward, we can see here's our exhaust and in fact our silencer. As the Germans call it, or we would might call it a muffler. So this is the Volkswagen muffler for the T6. But here we have a skid plate. It's called a muffler skid plate. It comes on an angle, it grips around the exhaust and comes down here. So if we do happen to hit anything as we come under here, we're not gonna rip the muffler off. It will deflect any obstructions here. So that's a really useful and not terribly expensive upgrade either. So we've covered off the rear diff, rock slider, fuel tank guard, and the skid plate. But perhaps the most important one to consider, even if you only do one of these five plates, is the engine and gearbox guard. So there's a lot of complexity at the front of the vehicle. And this particular guard is absolutely well worth it if you're thinking about doing any sort of off-road work. So this is where the vehicle is most likely to strike something first. I have uh, toured through the outback without one of these plates and I have lost my air conditioning and my air conditioning uh, was sorely missed as we headed up to Darwin uh, and the humidity that my experience was there. So this uh, engine and gearbox guard is, is really, really useful on any vehicle. And whilst we're up the front here, we might just be able to see, looking upwards, right up there is the uh, new shock absorber and uh, the new spring there from Cycle to give us a front lift as well. You might be able to see it from the outside of the vehicle here as well. Just up here, we can see up here, that's the new cycle off-road lift kit. We can also see on this particular vehicle, we've got 225 70 general gravity, mud and snow tire, 108 rating. So it is commercially rated light truck tire, 225 70 At this size, it, it does fit, but there will be very light scrubbing on full lock turns, particularly to the right and uh, but it does give us a significant lift. You can see that on the tyre calculator as well if you wish to. So thanks for watching. That's the Cycle lift kit and underbody protection from Cycle. Everything is approved by Volkswagen. Comes with a letter of no objection.
So if this is applied to the vehicle, any of these plates or suspension uh, changes, there's no compromise of the Volkswagen 5-year unlimited kilometre warranty. Thanks for watching.